The head coach in her second season, Jaylee Mitchell. Jaylee, good to see you. Great to be here. Thank you. Good to see you as You well. know, we, we, we talked to Brooke Storr about this going back to Louisiana Tech, but you going back to North Texas last year, you were considered the greatest player ever to play there, have a jersey retired. What was it like, though, coming back as a person in charge of the program? Um, well, it was it was pretty awesome. You know, I don't think I could have uh, started my head coaching career off any any other way. This is uh, my dream job. I love North Texas. I will always bleed green, and I am very happy that they chose me to lead the program. So I'm excited. Well, you came from University of Texas with Karen Aston. Of course, you're with Karen at North Texas. And knowing Karen the way I do and the way she coaches, how much have you taken from her as a coach? A ton. I probably couldn't even write it all down, <laughs> but, you know, sometimes it just comes to me at different times. You know, I'll say something or, you know, I'll go through something that, um, you know, I, I went through as an assistant for her and, and uh, I'll respond the way she did or I'll kind of <laughs> see why she did some of the things that she did. And, and um, it, it's pretty awesome to have a mentor and, and a head coach, a, a former boss that um, is a incredible and really planted a lot of seeds so I'm, I was very fortunate to have learned from her. We'll talk about this year's team but last year you doubled the win total from the previous season. Mm -hmm. What were the major positives you got out of last season not only as a coach but also as somebody who, who loves the program? Um, really just <coughs> to stick to your guns you know it's not always going to go uh, your way but I think that as long as you're doing something you believe in and, uh, and you're keeping that, that field of the fire and making sure your players are, are doing exactly what you ask them to do at all times and never letting up, I think is, is a, a big deal. Um, you know, when you start off a program and you're trying to build and, and uh, trying to change a culture, I think that's probably the most important th thing that you can do is make sure that every rule that you um, implement, everything you set in place, stands, you know, and it, and it goes for everybody. So, um, you know, it's different being the head coach and managing <laughs> all the players, all the staff, you know, it's very different. Um, but I enjoy it. I love my job and I wouldn't rather be doing anything else. So when you started last season, how did you challenge the players? Because obviously they had not tasted success in a while. Right. So how did you challenge the players? Well, it's one of those things. I, I'm a true believer in hard work paying off. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think uh, that's always the case no matter what you're doing. And um, so the thing with us last year was to, to work hard. And I remember um, probably every single Conference USA coach that we played said the same thing at the end of the game, win or lose. It was your players play extremely hard. You know, and that was a compliment, you know, for me. Right. Um, just because I think, you know, even when the season doesn't go your way, you can get discouraged or you can get down. And especially, like you said, if you haven't tasted much success, it's easy to do. Um, but I am, I was very proud of my players and, and kind of their ability to, to bounce back on some things. I think we went through a little uh, low where we, we really learned a lot from uh, adversity and, and from taking L's. But I think, um, you know, it helped us in the long run. We, we bounced back conference tournament and, and got a win. And, you know, it was the first conference USA tournament win for North Texas. So uh, just did some great things, I think, as a team that, that laid the foundation for uh, what's to come. Well, you talk about coaches saying you played hard. One coach that I had in December that said that was the hardest team she had to play as far as energy was Sherry Cole at Oklahoma. You go into yeah. Oklahoma and you beat them. And I asked Coach Cole, I said, what was the difference? She goes, they wanted it more than we did mm -hmm. and had more energy. How does that make you feel when a Hall of Fame coach says that about you? It feels amazing, you know, just because, you know, coming from Texas, I kind of, you know, <laughs> you had to dislike uh. OU for a few years, you know, it's yeah. one of those things. But I think um, we would not have come out with that win if our team didn't go in believing, mm -hmm. you know, they believed they could win and they did everything that we could possibly do in order to come out on top of that game. And uh, so I was just, I was really proud of them. Mm -hmm. um, again, they always played hard, their, their energy was there, but they believed in each other and they worked as a team. And every, it's like, that was the one game where we just about did everything right. <laughs> this is like, yes, you know, so it was perfect, you know, to come in. And again, for North Texas, that was the first time we'd beaten a ranked opponent, you know, yeah. so um, big time win for our program. You have three starters returning. You have a number of newcomers. Let's talk about the people coming back. Okay. Who has got to be challenged this year to up their game? Um, you know. You could say everybody if you want. <laughs> well, everybody for sure. But the, the, the one I will say first is Kelsey Kreiner. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, I think people will say, well, hey, well, that was your all, you know, all-conference player. Um, but at the same time, she um, is a point guard. And mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that a point guard has to do. 
And so, you know, for me, I, we've talked extensively about uh, what that means for her. And so I'm expecting her to take a major uh, leap as far as her, you know, leadership and, and ability to handle everything that's going to come. Because uh, our team is different. Uh, we're a lot different this year um, in a good way. Yeah. And uh, I think, you know, just her ability to, to handle that is going to be huge for us. And you've got some transfers coming, but when I look at the transfers coming in, all of the major college programs, Mm -hmm. How impressive is that to have somebody who is recruited by schools that are the Power Five conferences? I think it's incredible um, for our program. I don't know that that's ever happened, um, but at the same time, I think it's it's a huge opportunity uh, for those three young ladies. And um, what they do um, on the court this season is is really going to, I guess, tell a lot. You know, they they sat out last year. Sitting out is hard. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to sit out. Um, but they have a, a huge opportunity to go and, and put their stamp on something. And I think they're eager to, to do that. You know, they have a different look on their faces now, <laughs> you know, with practice because they're not just competing or playing the scout, being the opponent. You know, they're actually um, a part of our team and, and involved in, you know, what we're going to do this year. So, How much emphasis was put on taking care of the basketball this coming season? Negative assist to turnover ratio last year. Are you <laughs> the, the big side just told it all. But how yeah. much emphasis was put on that? A lot. I mean, because, again, that's, that's a huge deal. I mean, possessions matter. You know, mm -hmm. they, they are uh, extremely important. And that's really one reason why I named Kelsey Kreiner, because I, her turnovers were, um, she had a lot more than I would like for her to have. And so I think it starts with her. Uh, I think she has to set the tone. And then uh, I believe, you know, everybody else will fall in line. But your, your leader, your point guard is, is extremely vital. Starting out the season, one final question, playing in the uh, d uh, preseason WNIT, how big is that for you? It's huge. I mean, it's the second time for North Texas, but at the same time, this, this team and, and uh, you know, the season that we're, uh, that we're approaching or about we're getting ready to play is, is um, it's big, you know, because our schedule is a lot tougher and we're about to see uh, at least four NCAA tournament teams that we know of, you know, right. who knows what else the preseason WNIT will bring, but we have to be ready. I mean, we have a tough league, and uh, I think all of the things that we'll go through in our conference will prepare us for conference play. Good to see you. Good Congratulations see you well. on last Thank year. So Good much. luck this season. I appreciate it. <laughs> when we come back, we'll be talking ODU basketball. Karen Barefoot will join us. Stay with us.